Today I'm here at the local Bobcat dealership here in Asheboro, North Carolina. Today I'll be going through some of the equipment they have. Starting off here with the skid steers. As you can see, they have a whole bunch of them right here with different attachments on them. So first up here we have a Bobcat T770 skid steer with a not I'm not sure what kind of attachment this is. Yeah, that's it say. If anybody know if you know what kind of attachment this is, please let me know. Right here we have a T62, which is the smallest stick, which is right here we have a T62 with a jackhammer on the front. This one is an open station. You can either run joysticks or foot pedals down there. And like I said, this is a T62. Which I think is the radio, radio lift, how you pronounce it. Looks like it's a pretty nice machine. Here are your hydraulics for it right here, as you can see. It does not have high flow on it. Here we have a T66 with a four in one bucket. And by the way, these three machines right here is part of the R series that came out in, I think it was 2020. The first model that came out with the R series with the, with the T was the T76. And then since then they had new models that came out. Right here's one of the newer models. Well, not new, new, but new. The T66. Here you can see the end cab. You can also run foot pedals and joysticks. And like I said, this has a four in one bucket. Here we have another T770 with a what looks like a mulcher attachment or mower of some sorts. And this has the Y tracks on it, as you can see. Most of these machines here has a has Y tracks. Here we have another T770. This one has the roller, has a roller on the front, as you can see. And it looks like they do have high flow. And this has the quick attach where you can unhook the implement from in the cab. Here we have a T76 with a landscape brake. This machine right here was the first model of the R series that came out in 2020. Here's a quick look at the landscape brake right here on the machine. Here we have another T770 with a bush hog or mower, however you want to call it. Looks like it's a pretty well-built mower. And here's the high flow hydraulics on him. This is a Bobcat branded mower. The mower we have is a rut manufacturer mower. And then you can see a little bit of the blade. Speaking of blades, here we have another T770 with a dozer blade on the front. You can use this blade to push dirt, rocks, or mulch. And I guess you can push snow with this if you don't want to use a bucket. Here we have a T770 with a grapple on the front. And as you can see, this grapple is open on the bottom. Some grapples are closed on the bottom, but this grapple is open, which I'll show you over there. There's a grapple that's not closed. That's... And here's a look at the T770. And it has death on it, like always. And this is a two-speed machine. Here we have a T26, a T, a T64 
with a trencher on it. This implement lets you cut trenches in the ground for cables as such. We've never used one of these that much before. We have one, but we don't use it that much. Here we have a grapple that's closed on the bottom, as you can see, to where that other grapple over there is open. I much rather prefer these grapples over the open grapples. And this T66 has, it has weights on the back. So if you're lifting heavy loads, you won't tip, do tip over. So that's their skid steers they have. Now we'll look at the excavators. Right here we have a Bobcat E50 with the end Kong. I think that's how you say it, rotator. I have never seen one of these before in person. I've only seen them on YouTube and that's it. From the looks of it, they look complicated to run. Here's a quick walk around the end Kong. This has, you can run multiple attachments with this. Here's the E60 with a traditional grading bucket. In a thumb. This is one thing on Bobcat equipment why I don't understand is why they make their thumb smaller. Here we have a E50 open cab. And a E35 open. Another E35 and an E26 excavator. So now we'll go take a look at now we're taking a look at their compact tractors. Right here we have a Bobcat 5555 with the cab. It's a pretty spacious cab. There you can see your hydrostat pedals your loader joystick in your seat. Here's your three point hitch on the back. And it has one set of hydraulic remotes. And there's your PTO down there. Right here you have, we have an open cab, 4045 tractor. And here we have a mid-sized tractor, a 2025. Here we have another 2025. And I believe this is a 2025. Yes, it's a 2025. And all of these have three-point hitches and they all have hydraulics on the back. And they both have the hydrostat pedals, forward and reverse. And also, they also have the, they also have the quick attach right here. Now we'll take a look at their stand on skid steers, which I won't go over every single model because they're all the same. All of these are the MT-100s, which seems to, which they look to be pretty nice machines. So now we'll go take a look at their mowers. Here's some of their Bobcat mowers they have. They got a couple of them here. This one right here, I believe it's the smallest one they have. And they all have Kawasaki engines in it. So that's their mowers. And now check out this thing. This is a new machine that just, they just came out with last year, I think it was. It's pretty much a Ventrac. 
but a bobcat version. And here's this wheel loader. Here's a look at the cab. So that's the walkthrough of the Bobcat dealership. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.